Hello, my name's Emily and I'm sharing my story for the Lucinda Ellery True Beauty Campaign. The reason I'm sharing my story really is um, because it's it's sort of confidence boosting for me to be able to share something like this. It's something that I've always hidden through my life. The only people who've ever really knew about my hair loss was family and close friends. Um, and I just sort of think now, like, why should it be hidden? Like, at the end of the day, it's a part of me. It's not something I can change. It's not something I can click my fingers and just grow it back. Um, it's it's stuck with me for life, and I suppose it's time to start being comfortable with that sort of fact. Thankfully, I've always had a Lucinda a Lucinda Ellery interlay system. Um, so basically, none of this is mine. <laughs> um, and I've had that since I was seventeen, and I'm twenty four now. And the only reason I ended up actually getting it is because my mum was reading one of her really old magazines <laughs> and she said, look at this advertisement, I've seen this and do you think maybe they could do it with your hair? And I, I sort of went, oh God, I doubt it. Nobody else can sort of help me through it. Nobody else has offered any support. You know, I'd been to my GP and he would sort of went, well, yeah, you've lost your hair. And I was like, well, is there anything you can do? Well, no, nothing we can do. And it was like, great, back to square one. Um, and I came in for a consultation with Lucinda and I was like, I was blown away. I was like, how how on earth are they making these ladies' hair look so nice? I was like, you know, like, and it, even sometimes, like, when I was getting it done, I was like, in disbelief, like, no, it still won't look as nice as theirs. It won't look as real as theirs. And, and when I very first got the system on, I said to my sister, I was like, it looks like a wig, doesn't it? Look at it, it looks like a wig. And my sister was like, are you insane? She <laughs> <laughs> like, I suppose losing my hair for all those years really did knock my confidence. And now that I've sort of grown with the intralay system, I'm like, how ridiculous were you back then? Like, thinking that this looked looked unreal when it did look unreal, but in a different way. Like, it was beautiful. It's still beautiful. Um, my hands are a bit shaky. Um, I'm not used to recording myself, really. Um, so I'm, I'm doing something new. <laughs> Um, I suppose when losing my hair, um, one of the hardest things really was the bullying that came with it because I was only 13 when I lost my hair. Um, so obviously 13 is a hard enough age anyway for young kids and then to also throw in hair loss with that was just, oh, it was just naff, it really was. I had, I used to have kids who'd come up behind me and they'd, they'd pull my hair and just, just to see, just to see if it had come out and it was like, I look back now and I'm like, I hope you realise who you were. Like, it was so cruel to do that to a kid. Um, but, you know, I come out the other side of it and it's happened. There's nothing I can do about that. It's changed and and now I've got this, like, sort of newfound confidence, um, which is just amazing, really. Uh, one thing I would say to women everywhere is that your hair definitely doesn't define your worth. You know, if if you have lost your hair, there is absolutely no shame in it. Lots and lots of women do. There's no shame in having an interlace system. There's no shame in using root cover-ups to try and cover patches that you might have lost. That there really isn't. Um, for quite a lot of women, it is normal, and it is it is something that does unfortunately happen to even even young girls, young women, young men. Um, it happens to a lot of the population, and you wouldn't realise, but. You're not alone, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Um, one of the things that I did really try and combat was sort of the taboo of wearing a hair system. I was like, oh, God, I can't I can't wear false hair. Like, I can't wear it. I used to think, oh, my God, I can't wear a wig. But then I was like, it's not a wig. There's nothing wrong with wearing a wig either. But then I, I thought, well, how many girls have hair extensions? How many hairs? How, how many hairs? <laughs> how many girls have um, hair thickener put in? Like, they have, like... Little little extensions put into thicken the the root and and we're always striving to make our hair look nice. So why why is why did I feel such shame in sort of accepting help for it? And I can't even answer why because I just don't know. I just did. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm just reading my notes that I've written out. But um, one thing I would say is don't be scared to seek help. Um. Like I said, lots of people do lose their hair. It's just something that happens. Um, and seeking help is sort of the first stage of it, the first step, because you might actually be able to find things that can sort of prevent your hair loss or prevent it getting any worse. It could even be like a, a medical imbalance. And it really does need seeing to because 
your body is such an amazing thing that even the slightest slightest little sort of imbalance can can cause problems like that so definitely do seek help um one other thing i would definitely say would be the absolute newfound confidence i have i say newfound it's not newfound now i've been wearing this system for around eight years um but the confidence i have in it is unbelievable i mean i i am an mma fighter i mean i said I mean, I do, I do MMA is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm not necessarily a fighter as such because I'm not that good. Um, but I do boxing, I swim, I, I'm quite an active person and I absolutely love holidays to the beach. And going in the water and dipping your hair under it, it's, it's just, it's something that I've never had to stop doing, which I think is just so important because keeping hobbies and stuff, especially in the current climate, is it's it's really important to do um my final kind of pointer i would say well not a pointer but my final thought is i just wanted to show you how good that my pine actually is like you can see all the way around my head it's just absolutely beautiful and this is the manchester studio by the way um it's just i can't thank them enough even when i come in and say to them guys please i want my hair dyeing purple and they kind of go oh god not again um they're still so accepting and they are still so kind and i still come out of that salon feeling normal and feeling like i've really had a good pamper and just like any other woman would in a salon and that is um also really really important so that's my little story <laughs> i hope that was okay see you later